Brand new season of anime, another series. We're going to start reacting to the magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady. The title is way too goddamn long. Let's begin the reaction. I know nothing about this series. Just going in blind. Just checking out what's popular. Checking them out. See if you guys like it too. Uh, oh. Surely she won't die here. She got a broom. <laughs> she fights with the broom. I thought she might be like a, like a witch or something. I don't, I don't know. Fly away on that broom. It's pointless? You're giving up on her? You're, uh, or are you saying, call the ambulance, but not for me kind of situation where she's fine? Huh? I mean, he's going to go to save her, but what if she's like actually okay? This is what she's been waiting for. Hey. Huh? So this is all according to plan. What are you going to do? Just fly away? Oh, okay, okay. I mean, yeah, it's a witch, right? <laughs> Wait. I, like, this is like a melee witch. She used a broom to like go in and kick. <laughs> okay, she's a. Uh... This is pretty cool. She's super cool. Okay, she can take care of herself. All right, let her cook. Let her cook. A freak who uses her mastery of bizarre tools. Oh, the broke. Problem child. Also, guess her status. Her color determines the status. If you're blonde, you're like royalty in this world. Okay. I mean, if the plundering princess. I mean, if you look at her outfit too. Oh my god. The Marauder Princess. Okay, thanks. They didn't do anything though. <laughs> she did all the work. Yeah, they didn't know what win-win means? But she's a magician. Not necessarily a witch. Okay. She's got that. She's got a lot of charm. Kind of cute, too. Gets her hands dirty. Gets like, she's good at fighting. This is a princess? What kind of environment, you know, like, raises this kind of princess? Like, usually you would never expect a princess to be this kind of... I, I don't know. <laughs> like, look at her. She's just putting the wild animal beast, like, a <laughs> hat thing on. She's really cool, though. I'm in. I'm in. I'm on board. Huh? I mean, I saw her fly, but I guess that's not magic. A magician that can't use magic? Is that her brother, maybe? <laughs> she is so out of place compared to them. <laughs> look how proper and prim they look. And <laughs> she's like, hey, what's up? Ro was a princess, but she's definitely breaking the stereotypes. It's a legal criminal. It's, they said this is a reincarnated magician, right? Because all the references that she's saying, some people don't get. For example, just now, and even the win-win. So she's from a different era. It's gotta be something like that, right? So she's that. She's a magician, but she can't use magic. But she uses magicology to craft weapons and tools, imbued with magic to beat people. Okay. Wonder the brother doesn't seem to have a very good relationship with the sister, though. The dad's talking about her a lot. Maybe he feels very insecure, like shit. He stands out a lot, like she stands out a lot, and he gives her a lot of like preference. Maybe she had the rights to the throne, but she renounced it. But you have no magic, but you can craft a broom and fly on it with magicology. See, look at this. This is modern world. So she's been reincarnated. This is kind of an isekai. I guess this is an isekai then, huh? Yeah. She hasn't really, like, acknowledged it herself, though. Like, in my past life or something. She gets, like, memory bursts. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> With the rope this time. <laughs> Wait, her durability is kind of insane if you think about it. I'm not sure if this is a joke or if it's actually, you know, she built, like, a tank. Her face looking at this. She's, she's, she doesn't seem too happy, but <laughs> I guess we can try it. The dad was taking some kind of medicine too. But she takes these pills and what does it do? Huh. What's she taking? So does this temporarily give her magic? I wonder if like people are they generally born with able to use magic? Or only certain people? And I'm royalty, meaning most royalty do have magic, they're just born with it. I really like her design. There's even a slight, you know, dark eye bag too, just like cherry on the top. Look at her. The gloves, something about the gloves, man. That's oof. Oof. 
Brothers getting married. The genius daughter. But wasn't this show called like a reincarnated magician or witch and the genius princess? Is she gonna steal her brother's fiance? Hmm. Is this gonna be a Yuri story? Hmm. Did she meet her a long time ago? That's the genius princess? And she can use magic? Hmm. Are we just friends or is there something more? Are we actually gonna steal our brother's fiance? That? <laughs> oh god. Oh no, it's gonna happen, isn't it? Two birds flying in the air to represent the princess and the <laughs> Bro, it's gonna happen! This is like Magic Academy? Maybe? Hogwarts? Does a does the princess also go? No, that's the that's the brother. Wow. Wait, wait. But isn't that your fiance? Wait. Isn't... Isn't... Aren't, that's not your girl. Wait, that's not your fiance. Okay, I, I'm glad that a commoner is able to mingle with the prince like that. But, you know, the prince is betrothed to the girl right in front of... I mean, the prince looks pretty good like that. Oh. Oh, those eyes. Did he not come? Is he late? Where is he? This is the same girl, right? Hello. He's... <laughs> you're still here. What is... What is that reaction? You come late and you say, You're still here after a sigh? Wow, he's really not into her. Strictly political, arranged marriage, but like... Damn, bro. I mean, I'm against arranged marriages and like if he wants to be with that commoner, you know, that's perfect. That's, that's fine. That's great. That's true love, but like... Treating her like this is so... So bad. He looks down on nobility. I like that part of the prince though, even though he's being shitty to her. Like, he doesn't care about royalty. Or like, classism. Who's worthy of being with me? It means you're not worthy. Oh, I mean, you don't have to say it like that, man. You don't have to say it like that. This is, he's so mean to her. He's so mean. Even though there's some quality that I like about him, about how he disregards like, royalty. Uh, this is even the maids are like, damn, dude, did you really have to say it like that? And she bows every time and lifts a skirt, just like you know, formalities. But, bruh, bruh, it I want this guy to get smacked the fuck up, dude. I'm well, at least now when the sister does snatch up, you know, the genius, it won't be like he'll be fine with it and he'll be like, thank fucking god, there she comes. What does the brother think of the sister though? Because at a first glance, it seems like he isn't on good terms with her. I'm not sure if that's jealousy or envy. Or if there's, if it's like because other people look down on her for not having magic. And that'd be a plot twist, right? Yeah, it's not very good. He's not even like acknowledging her. He doesn't like her at all, I think. I think. That's like the most obvious take, right? Hmm? Yo, our maid is so thoughtful. I mean, I guess it is her job to do that. But she's just there for us all the time. Okay, I mean... It seems to be working, right? But for how long? Also, if you crash from that distance, wouldn't that like kill you? But her durability seems insane, so... It's actually working! But my previous life though, she keeps... Oh, it's gonna fucking crap out now, we're gonna crash. But she keeps saying, previous life, obviously she's reincarnated, we saw glimpses of the memories. But how much of that, how much of it does she know? Is she gonna crash into this? Oh no, there's like an important meeting. She's definitely gonna crash. She's definitely gonna crash this party. And then she's gonna meet her again. And then she's gonna take her from the brother somehow. I don't know. The rumor. Oh, the rumor's also bad. The PR is her personality is overwhelming for the prince. Like, they're antagonizing her. It's not the prince's fault, it's her fault. Uh, she came in alone. Uh, yikes. Where's our date? Our date's about to arrive on a broom, dude! Don't worry about it! Yikes. Oh no, she's here alone? Oh my god. Yeah, it's a bad look though if you're engaged and you know, the relationship between the prince and her is bad. Oh no, did she come with- did he come with the prince? Oh, oh my god, the commoner girl, right? I have nothing against her. I think it's great that this is actual true love and you know, this is like, uh, um, like, destroying the bounds of royalty and commoners, but for, for the fiancé, this is so bad. This is so bad. I have ditched my arranged marriage. Behold! Can you just do that, though? Is that up to you? Can you really call it off like that? Wouldn't your parents, like, disagree? I feel so bad for her. 
because I don't think she's necessarily in love with him either. But she's she's been at least like trying to put up that image, and he's just been shitting on her the entire time. Oh my God, Twitter, you don't have to say that again. You are not worthy in front of everybody. Committed atrocities. Uh, cause did she talk to her in the courtyard? Normally, I'd be on the prince's side, you know. But just because of how he's treating the fiance, I feel like this is so shitty. But now, if you put on the show publicly, it's gonna be like, oh, the princess is a uh, overwhelming uh, personality, right? And then everyone's gonna side with the prince. Dude, you want a queen so badly. Now it's like, you power hungry bitch. Oh my god. Assassinated? Oh, I think we just jumped a couple fucking steps. Huh? Assassinated? Huh? Paid actors! Paid actors shit getting set up! This is terrible. I feel so bad for- Yo, where is our princess? Crash this party with the broom. This is the perfect moment to crash in with the broom. And then- Get engaged to her. Yeah, like she was just doing her job. She was just actually just doing her job, just trying to be better and putting her personal feelings aside. But look at this! This betrayal is insane! Where's the broom? Where's the crash, dude? You gotta fucking come crashing into the. I, I hope he, she lands on the prince and knocks him out or something. But look at this! Look! How can we save our public image after this? Yo, Marauder Princess, where are you at? There she is, there she is. <laughs> on who though? Oh, I, I hope that she would crash into the prince, though. Hello! Saved by a broom. <laughs> that landed. <laughs> yeah, this is a, quite the moment, but it's the perfect moment. Bail her out! Um... Come on, figure it out! What are you gonna do? This is so awkward. <laughs> oh. She's bold enough to just call that out in front of all these people? I will engage to her, somehow. I don't know. Become my fiance instead. Because she seems to have some kind of, like, I don't know, interest in her from a, like a long time ago, right? But what does that mean, though? Say it. Say it. Want to get engaged? Say it! Oh. She's accepting. Oh, come on! Yeah. This is a Yuri story. This is a Yuri story! Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh, she's actually just snatching her. <laughs> Let's go flying away together. She didn't specifically say what she meant, but I'll take you away. I hope that she would have said something more direct like, you know, become my fiance or something. Perfect way to bail out the scenario and situation. But her public image is still ruined. I wonder if they're just gonna ignore everyone else and they're just gonna look down on them because how different they are. But because they're together, they won't care about the public opinion. And they'll just be happily be in love together. Something like that? I think so? Let me have you. What does that mean? The fiancé engagement kind of thing? <laughs> oh my god, off to the moon we go! Ladies and gentlemen, we got another Yuri episode. Let's go! Another Yuri series! This episode was actually, like, again, it's not conventionally the most exciting thing. There's not, like, heavy combat and action. I mean, there was actually in the beginning, with the fighting. But this is more about, like, world building and immersion. And it's, I'm quite immersed. And the story and the, com it's, and the storytelling and the relationship between characters, I'm kind of down. I think this is going to be a beautiful story to have. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoyed our reaction, consider subscribing and checking out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.